What's going on guys? I am back with another show and tell of a pistol I just picked up today. Uh, nothing new, but I've always wanted a Glock 19X in my lineup. Um, so I, I'm not sure if Glock changed the color. Doesn't look like my camera is picking that up very well. But in person, the slide is significantly darker than the FDE frame. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I remember when these first came out, I want to say maybe three, four years ago, because um, a buddy of mine has one and his slide is the exact same color as his frame. It's FDE. Um, so this video is not doing this color any justice because this is significantly darker. It's almost like a bronze color. And, and it might be, but what I'm seeing in the video right now, it's not picking it up. So, um, anyway, what I had done is I had literally just bought this like an hour ago. <clears throat> and um, I had a Glock 19 Gen 5 that I actually traded in for this. Um, the, the Gen 5 was just a little too small for me um, as far as the grip goes. Um, it just, it wasn't too comfortable. So anyway, I had a uh, um, a polish job on the inside done, so that's why that may appear to this gun may not be, appear to be brand new. So the uh, the gun shop that I buy my guns from were awesome enough to exchange out all my internals from the stock one um, because everything was so smooth and polished and everything. And they also let me keep my Trigicon sights, which. Uh, the original sights that came on this were actually the Glock Knight sights, but um, I paid $150 for these and um, I've wanted to keep them. So <clears throat> the internals, everything is still just like my um, Glock 19 Gen 5 was. So I had one of those for my 19 that I kept because um, this guy came out of it, the lanyard loop. That was kind of a pain in the ass to take out. Um, not as easy as these. So anyway, I'm definitely sending this off to get a stipple job, and I'm probably going to send it off also to get a um, uh, some slide work done to it. I don't know if I'm going to run an RMR on it or not. I'm sorry, not an RMR, um, a red dot. Yes, an RMR is a red dot, but um, I'm not that rich, so and I think there's better red dots out there. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. But man, yeah, I've always wanted, I've always wanted a 19x, and I don't know why. I just think they're cool. I like the fact that they do not have the front slide serrations um, because when you send them to a mill shop that specializes in custom slide work, um, the options are much greater than the Gen 5s with the uh, front cocking serrations. So um, I found that uh, a lot of shops uh, kind of have to work around that because there's already so much material removed from the front cocking serrations. Um, so you can't get those cool looking patterns and. Um, mill work down that you see a lot online of. So <clears throat> one downfall I know about the 19X is this is a Cerakoted slide. And um, actually I know quite a few people that have the original 19X. I don't know why I said original. I don't think there's anything different. They may have changed the color of the Cerakote. But I do remember a lot of my friends that had the 19X when they first came out. The, uh, the Cerakote was chipping, peeling, I mean, really fast. And it was from holster wear, which, which is normal. But, man, it, it was super fast. Like, I don't know what what was going on. I don't know if uh, Glock just did a poor job on their Cerakote. Because I've had some guns that have been Cerakoted by several different companies. I've, I have a lot of firearms that I've sent out to different companies. And I've had some that... Um, was a total waste of money because this company didn't know what they were doing and I've sent my firearms to companies where I've literally shot hundreds of rounds through it and it doesn't even look like I've shot one round through it, um, it especially uh, running it in a holster and everything um, for days and weeks at a time zero wear so um, for those of you that are um, looking to do Cerakote work to a firearm, make sure so to a reputable company because there's a lot of people out there that claim that they do Cerakote work and they'll, they'll charge you the same price as with basically the going rate and you get that thing back and it looks great and all, but you start putting rounds through that thing and you start running that in and out of a holster, you're going to find that, that, uh, 
that Cerakote is not going to hold up as well. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I don't, I don't know if it's the lighting. Maybe you guys can see it. Maybe when I, when I, uh, run this video back, it'll show a different tone, but it is, it, it looks like a bronze type color. So I guess in different lighting, you can kind of see it. So, and that's just a TLR 7A light, Flex A. So anyway, I just wanted to show this off, man. Like, I'm excited. I literally just got this, like I said, probably like over an hour ago. Yeah, I guess about an hour ago. So uh, I went to the range and I shot my LWRC pistol, uh, the Glock 19 and my Smith & Wesson 5-inch uh, Pro Series. And then we stepped over to the... Uh, the gun range or the gun shop side and I seen this sitting in there. I'm like, fuck. So anyway, guys, just wanted to do a quick show and tell. Um, hope everyone's well. Um, if you have one of these, let me know. Let me know what you think of it. I know it's a Glock. Um, I know there's not going to be any problems with it. So um, take care, guys.